about three years ago i went on a podcast talking about how i hooked up with an nba team i don't know i was getting in a hotel room they all pulled <laughs> up and i sucked their but like down the whole team seven seven basketball players in a row mm-hmm. how was that <laughs> i was oh up. i didn't any of them though She's done. what happened to the swallowed all of them yeah For those of you who don't know this about me, about three years ago, I went on a podcast talking about how I hooked up with an NBA team. It went super viral. <laughs> what do you want me to say, bitch? <laughs> Go all out. Well, okay, uh, on my birthday, my birthday is Memorial Day weekend. Uh-huh. On my birthday, I seen them all at Dre's, like this one team. Okay. She's so shy. <laughs> it's just so cute, and baby. I don't like it. And I don't know. I was getting fucked in a hotel room. They all pulled up, and I sucked their. Put the mic down. The whole team. Seven. Seven basketball players in a row. Mm Mm-hmm. How was that? (laughs) I was fucked up. I didn't fuck any of them though. She's done. What happened to the nuts? Swallowed. All of them. Yeah. And nothing happened. You didn't have like a a weird reaction in your stomach or anything. No, no, I passed out. That sounds so fun. You're almost making it sound like you were too fucked up to be sucking seven dicks. And also, you were getting no. fucked by somebody else right before this? Yeah, they walked in <laughs> mid me getting fucked. How did they walk the in? Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was fucking like someone that works with the team. And I know I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. The but they team. all pulled up. No, not the whole team. <laughs> okay. Like a few of them. They all just pulled up. They knew I was in there and they were like, let's get lit. And they were just sitting around the bed and they just rotated. Wow. I will never, ever, ever live this down on the internet because Hell every no. few months, like a new blog posts about it, like as if it's new information or something. And so, like every couple months, my DMs will be flooded with like hate messages telling me I should myself and that I'm like the worst human being on the world. Just basically any terrible thing you could say to somebody. And trust me, nothing that anybody says in my DMs like that can bother me. Like, it's honestly just weird to me. I've never understood, like, hate messages or even comments. Like, I'm like, that's so embarrassing. Like, if anybody saw my name under, like, a TikTok or an Instagram post, like, calling someone a horrible human being or, like, a slut or anything like negative like that's so embarrassing i would just never do that and uh that's that's pretty interesting do you not regret that fucking video do you not regret saying what you said in the motherfucking video right you you mad the motherfuckers is judging you like like that is like judge territory even even in t- today and age where you know judging is like a sin nowadays you can't shame nobody or, or judge nobody for doing fucked up shit that's a big part of the problem society too we need to fucking bring shame and judging motherfuckers back ain't nothing wrong with judging motherfuckers and they doing fucked up shit and that was some fucked up shit that your ass said and you upset the fact that what you said in that motherfucking video is triggering people to respond a certain way if you had more judgment in your life, you wouldn't have said what you said. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we can't do that. What's weird? It's it's so embarrassing to see people comments and and slut shaming. All I was doing was talking about sucking off a whole NBA team and swallowed it all, and I didn't even get a, 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 a upset stomach. Bit that's crew. Yeah, yeah, bro. These whores, dog. These whores, bro. This shit here holds the headaches. Now, I'm telling you, you, do that whole shit. She got, she found herself a permanent headache. Cause this shit ain't never gonna stop following her ass. All right, let's see what else you got to complain about from this video that you fucking posted talking about sucking dicks, swallowing dicks. And of course, it's always from a fake page because they don't want to show their face. Because, bitch, if I came for you, you know I would eat your ass up if I saw what you looked like. Anyways, so I've never understood that in the first place and it's like bitch You actually don't know me as a person. You know that one story about me 
And the thing that really gets me is like, okay, there's people in the world who are abusive, who are uh, abusing gonna do that. their partner, do that. who are abusing, chi- abusing children, <laughs> abusing animals. Yeah. Um, there's people out here selling drugs. There's people out here really hurting people. And you think I'm the worst person in the world for sucking dick? Like, be so fucking for real. That's all you did was just suck dick? Be for real. Nah, bitch, you sucked a whole bunch of dicks, followed it right after getting fucked and told Adam 22 on no jumper. Hoes always been around, a motherfucker's always been doing a whole shit. But the fact that you blab that shit to the fucking world and, res- and, the, and you're expecting people to not say nothing crazy to you? Like, you said some crazy ass shit to say, and we are in the day and age of the most toxic ass social media space ever in the world. <laughs> like, in the comments, is they're savages, bro. And you gave them some shit to salivate responding to, reacting to. You know what I mean? And you think that's weird? Nah, bitch, that's the world we live in, bro. What's more weird is the fact that you refusing to fucking take accountability. Well, I don't know if you, I don't know if you have it. I'm putting words in your mouth at this point, but it don't sound like you. It don't sound like this video is upsetting to you. What up, man? Hey, um, do me a favor, please, and please subscribe to my Rumble account. And link for it in the description box. If you know, you know. But uh, YouTube has made it very difficult for your boy to do anything. A lot of y'all should know about Rumble. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want. You ain't worried about nothing over there. It's real. So, you know, I need y'all to, you know, mess with me over there. <laughs> Bruh, your boy's hands are tied. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we ain't going nowhere. So, I ain't going to stop, bro. Just make minor adjustments. Keep it pushing. Dog, we built for it. But, um, yeah, love y'all. Night talk. Night nation. Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> right. Clearly it's not because you are highlighting the video that much more and going to give this shit more attention from other motherfuckers to come judge your ass even further. The whole NBA team, the Phoenix Suns, goddamn, she had Booker in that mouth, booking it. And when I say that out loud, I realize, like, how dumb the person is in my DMs. And I'm like, bitch, go outside and touch grass. You're so fucking mad. Like, these people are mad at me. For sucking dick. I'm not proud <laughs> of that story anymore. Cause like anymore, bro. Anymore. The fact that she was ever proud is t- <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Bitches is fucked up, bro. <laughs> Bitches is fucked up. <laughs> it's more fucked up that you were sitting here proud getting hold out by a team. Like, why would you be proud of that? But I I know why. You know, feminism has got you fucked up to feel empowered by the fact that you getting slayed by an NBA team. Like, that's literally the case. You're proud of that. <laughs> you was proud of that. You shouldn't have been. You shouldn't have been, but you've been tricked. <laughs> you, you, you've you been tricked. <laughs> you've been tricked. Feminism fooled all y'all motherfuckers. That's crazy to hear, though, bro. She was proud at one point. <sighs> that's wild, dog. Come on, come on. Come on. Women, you know, reformed. Reformed, but uh. I'm also not ashamed, and like people can't come in my DMs and like make me feel horrible about something. Like, I did. why wouldn't like, you be ashamed of that? When I was 21 and fucked up and living my best life, like, why I'm wouldn't just, you be ashamed of telling the world? Make that? me feel bad about it. I've moved on, and I've learned from that. And I honestly think it's a funny story. But anyways, the point is, <sighs> is like. You just can't gaslight me and make me feel like I'm the worst person in the world when I never hurt anybody. My advice is you are wrong and trigger many people, but you can apologize and represent the correct way of being a woman. I mean, really, she ain't got nothing to apologize for, but I, I, I think that she should at least feel bad and feel shameful for what the fuck she did and said for the world to see and uh, and i guess it's pretty it's it's pretty it's pretty stupid that she's sitting here complaining about people having shit to say to her about what she did bro in the day and age of trolling you're gonna get you 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 serve them a whole platter to serve your ass with some troll and shit hell i be getting trolled for the shit i be fucking saying and shit i be saying is nowhere near in the same goddamn galaxy as your ass and you sitting here crying about motherfuckers having some shit to say about you slobbing seven tops and swallowing all the kids and what would i need to apologize for 
I'm not apologizing to anybody because I don't give a fuck what people think about me now and I didn't give a fuck then. And I think that's why people are mad. They want me to give a fuck what they think about me and I don't. Or they want me to like feel ashamed. It's like, what good would that do? I honestly think the way that I look about it is the healthiest way to look about it. Because it's like, I can watch my old interviews and I like kind of cringe about the shit that I was saying because I really just didn't give a fuck. But at the same time, I think it's hilarious. And I just, I really just didn't give a fuck at all. I don't take it that seriously because I didn't take it seriously then. And like, what am I apologizing for? I'm so confused. I'm not here to represent the correct way of being a woman. Like, I was just living my life. I'm not here for anybody to look up to me or to set an example for fucking anybody. I think it's so weird that people on the internet put that on you for just living your life. Like, no, you need to set an example. Bitch, for who? I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. I need to set an example for my daughter. And that's it. And the fact of the matter is, <laughs> I'm going to be completely 100% transparent Ooh, with my daughter about everything that I put a foot in her mouth right now. And she's the person that I'm responsible to answer. If you ever to. have one, if you ever have one, and if you do, oh my God. She put her foot in her mouth right there. Ain't got nothing to do with influence and nothing, bitch. You went on the internet saying some crazy shit. Motherfucker had some crazy shit to say about it. You know what I mean? Like, why? You should feel ashamed for it. You should feel ashamed, bro. Like, because it ain't, whatever. You can. And if you feel, if you plan on being isolated for the rest of your goddamn life, or, you know, I don't know, uh, praying on whatever simps or, you know, beta motherfuckers who, who don't give a fuck about your past, then cool. But, like, you that, that shit is going to have devastating impact on you for the rest of your fucking life. And for you to minimize it saying you didn't take it serious, you shouldn't take it serious, you don't feel ashamed for it, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem, and that feminism still clearly busting her ass in the fucking head with it. You know what I mean? And what makes it so bad is you put it out there for the whole world to see, so it's never going anywhere. It's never going anywhere. The man that you fucking be with, your your family, your friends, dog. Like you're 21, so now you're 24. Now you still a fucking baby, bro. When you get 34, 35, 36, 37, you're gonna be in the same boat as all these little porno hoes that are out here depressed, medicating their ass up because they can't find a man. They can't find a man to stay with them. They can't find a man to fucking knock them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you have done severe damage to to your potential happiness. To the potential of your happiness, but to sit here acting like it's, it ain't it ain't no thing. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's like one of the worst things a fucking woman can goddamn do is go on the fucking internet and say what the fuck you said, bro. Ain't nobody signing up for that. Ain't nobody signing up for that. I mean, so I don't know what the hell make you think you can get somebody to knock your ass up. The fuck. That's crazy. Feminist. Damn, bro. Damn, feminism is a motherfucker. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, bro. Who did it? Bro? She does what she wants and Who she looks it? cool doing it. Who did it, bro?